Hey guys, quick video on the Miller ML102 charger. This thing is probably one of the best inexpensive chargers on the market. And you, will, I found it by doing research on uh, BudgetLightForum.com and other forums. That pretty, people pretty much say, when it comes to the cheap chargers, this is one of the best. And it's also dual purpose, which is what I really like about it. Not only does it charge 18650 batteries, but you can also charge USB devices with it. It has a uh, USB port, so you can hook your phone up to this. You can hook your walkie-talkie up to this and use that uh, 18650 battery to charge other things. I like dual-use gear. Anything that has two purposes is all right with me. And I paid $3.88 for this. You'll see these anywhere from like 4 bucks up to $10. And there's different versions. This one here is version 9. And I guess they had some problems with version 7 and version 8. So I ended up getting this version 9, which seems to be okay. I haven't read any major uh, problems with them yet. It's got, uh, whew, excuse me, um, a lot of good features. Uh, number one, you plug it into the wall, do a little mini USB. So you don't need any extra special cables. You can use your cell phone cable to charge this. Um, any standard, you know, 5 volt uh, cell phone charger will pretty much work with this. Has an LED that turns blue. You know what, the instructions say it's supposed to turn green and this and that doesn't happen on this one. Pretty much when it's charging, you have a blue light. <laughs> and then these green lights turn up on the side. I should have plugged this in, guys, sorry. Uh, green lights come up on the side. One of them will flicker, and when it's done, it will go solid. Now, I've measured with a multimeter. It does not overcharge. This thing charges to 4.21 volts every time, so it is important to check that out so it does... Uh, accurately do that and when you're using it as a power bank those green lights will go down as the battery gets uh, lower and lower so that's kind of a cool so if you are using it to charge your phone you will know the capacity of the battery in there it has uh, overcharge protection under uh, overdraw protection so you can't uh, draw the battery down too low to the point where it's going to hurt it you can't overcharge the battery and it has reverse polarity protection as well so if you put the battery in the wrong way it's not going to blow up in your face. So I think this is a really cool thing to have. If you have devices that use 18650 batteries, um, oh yeah, by the way, big thing on this one, it only uses the unprotected batteries. Protected batteries do not fit. So as you can see here, here's an unprotected laptop pole, and that is uh, the appropriate size. You can't put your protectants in there. So I think it's a really cool thing if uh, you do have unprotected batteries, you're using them for a flashlight or power banks or whatever. It's a nice little thing to have. Plus two, with a small solar panel, you can basically keep your 18650s charged without having to really plug them in. Um, one thing you can do is really, they, they make them, there's so many different solar panel options out there now, guys. And what I intend to do with this actually, is I want to get one of those uh, suction cup window uh, solar panels. So basically I can kind of plug this into my house, just put the solar panel in the window, and let a battery charge all day. You know, it's, it's kind of slow. It's going to be a trickle charge effect, but um, do that. You know, and then the same thing. You can do it in your car. You can do it outside. Just adding that extra versatility. So that is something I'm going to be doing with this. I just wanted to point it out. It's, it's the Miller ML102 charger, and it is one of the better, you know, sub five dollar chargers out there, and it's very safe. It's got a lot of protection built into it, and it's a multi-use item.